I wanted to make a regular spider sculpture, but then decided to make an abomination instead. I'll start by wrapping up some wires and shaping them into spider legs. I want the legs to look like a spider, but still have a very flowy shape with no sharp bends like a tentacle. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll cover the wire with Sculpey Bacon Bond, which will help the clay stick to the wires. I'm using cos clay here, which is a great clay, but in this specific case, the legs hold all the weight, so after baking, the flexibility of the clay was a bit of an issue. So I would definitely recommend using a thicker wire or some epoxy sculpt that will help hold the shape if you want to make something similar. Then I'll spend way too much time adding these little suction cups and then go over it with isopropyl alcohol so I can bake it. After baking, I'll bulk up his head, or I guess his whole body, with aluminum foil and cover that with clay as well. I've been wanting to make an abomination sculpture of a loved character for a while now as well. I won't spoil what it is, but let me know if you'd like to see it. To cover up the tentacles connecting to the body, I'll add a flap all around them and smooth it into the body. I thought it might end up looking too much like a spider and not enough like a squid, so I'll make the mouth more squid-like which is a hole with four flaps around it to wrap around your face like a face hugger when you get too close. Then I'll add two fins on his head body and smooth them in with everything else. He also gets an angry brow ridge where I'll add six pre-baked eyeballs. Spiders have eight eyes and squids have two, so you might be wondering why I would add six, but eight minus two equals six, so... Oh, okay, I don't know, adding 6 just felt like the right thing to do. To add some more detail, I'll blend clay strips into the front of his face. Then two fangs in the front for the spidery feel and some more details on the top of his head. Of course, you can't have a scary monster without sharp teeth, so I'll add a few made with translucent clay. Lastly, I'll cover the top of the tentacles with Sculpey Bacon Bond for some extra texture. After baking, I'll rip out his teeth and move on to painting. I don't know what happened, but my footage has just horrendous FPS here, but I airbrushed on a base purple and then added a darker shadow and lighter highlight where you would expect them to be. Then I'll go over some details lightly with an even lighter highlight by hand. I originally wanted to do a very pretty teal color for the suction cups, but I hated how it looked, so I decided to go for something more subtle, which is just a lighter purple color. It's not super noticeable, but it still brings out the suction cups and you can clearly see a difference. His eyes get painted red with a white slit. Neither squid or spider eyes look like this, but hey, I thought it looks cool. Kind of like a squid spider cat? <laughs> now that would be a deadly combination. The eyes also get covered with UV resin for a more realistic look. Then Gramps gets new dentures and I'll cover them with red paint. I want to add blood to the mouth, so I'll take a thin nylon thread and cover it with UV resin. I'll cure and apply more, about 3 to 4 times until it forms a nice coat. I'll then add these to the mouth with more UV resin. I ended up not using all of them and cutting some a bit shorter because it was a bit too much. I'll also add more resin to the base of the mouth to help sell the effect. For the base, I'm using a thick piece of XPS foam, which I'll cut into to form some rock layers. And also glue on more foam pieces to change the shape up a bit. I want there to be a bit of water up top where the squid will be, so I'll rip some of the foam out with pliers. To help with the rock texture, I'll add a plaster paint mix all over the foam. Then add a snow texture paste mixed with glue between all the layers. 
To protect the foam from resin, I'll use later. I covered it with more plaster and glue, but it won't actually help. The resin I'm using right now just gets way too hot and doesn't work well with foam. I also want some tree branches, so I'll add wire and foil to bulk them up. I had some leftover air dry clay, which I thought would work well here, but it had mostly dried up. I managed to get some of it that was still usable, but it was extremely hard to work with and looks like trash in the end, but that's okay because I'll be covering most of it up anyway. I wanted to do something different this time, so instead of going for the same boring grey rocks, I'll go for boring blue rocks instead. I added the base blue and then went over it again with lighter blues. Of course I can't have just pure blue rocks, so I will add a grey and white dry brush as well. Then I'll cover the snow paste I added earlier with a few different shades of brown and even a bit of green in some spots. And the trees get painted brown. Using glue, I'll add on bits of moss here and there to liven up the place. Then I'll add a bunch of bones to unliven the place. I covered some of the bones with cotton to make it seem like spider webs and added them to the base as well. I was going to add webs all over with cotton as well, but then I remembered I have a bunch of this fake spiderweb mesh left over from Halloween, so I'll use that instead. I'll glue it down and wrap all the trees with it. Lastly, I'll add a beautiful layer of resin and add drops of red resin where the blood would have dripped in the water. Of course, it didn't work out in the end, but that's it. A big thanks to all of these cool people who support the channel over on Patreon, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!